I think I've shown this. Um, we got the septic all backfilled and everything. Uh, the tank is still uncovered, but you know, other than that, like all of this ground now is seeded. And I accidentally got the wrong hay. They got a different kind of hay here. That's why it's a different color. But um, yeah, it's all it's all good. So our our yard is now kind of established. By established, I mean the grade of it, not the uh, the actual plant life. Clearly, that's not growing much yet. There is some going on over there, but it's getting cool. So I don't know how much this stuff is going to grow here. Uh, fingers crossed, we'll get a nice amount of root growth, and then you know, when the spring comes around, it'll pop up. But enough of that. We got to get the framing done. So I got a few sill plates up, um, which uh, you might be able to see. Not that one, but yeah. Um, got to finish that. Going to just completely get that done and then uh, move on to starting <clears throat> starting the interior walls. And uh, yeah, so I guess I'll catch you up when we start that. I'm getting a lot of use out of this laser level held in a horizontal fashion. Put it up there on top of the wall and then on the other wall, put my receiver and measured out because the walls aren't 100 percent straight up and down right so i measured out where everything's supposed to be according to where my you know my square marks are the marks that say if everything's lined up to these the house will be square um <clears throat> so i got the proper marks up there which you know just from the distance and then i was able to kind of use the horizontal method to see see these marks here marked basically all along the floor and up the walls but that that should just be pretty much level um, but got where those are Do the same thing going kind of across the house the other way to mark this right here that's my first stud so now I know um, I can I can basically base all of my stud placements off of that and I have this first wall is is going to end it's like a total of eight feet approximately um, not including the thickness of the foundation so somewhere around here and then I'll do that section and then I'll do a separate section over there. I'm doing these uh the basement I'm doing all toenail, so I'm going to I'm going to put down the the bottom plates first. And I just came over to go inspect our uh what we were trying to go for grass. Just to give you a perspective of where we are down the hill where the septic field is and we're actually getting some in. And this is after how long is this? A week and a half? A week and a half? Maybe two weeks. Huh. Cool. Got our first portion of a wall up. I'm going to wait on doing the other side until after I've done the front because it joins up to that. I'm right, making some more progress. Got uh, most of that wall up. Obviously I didn't finish the door and the window isn't isn't blocked in. Um, right now I'm, I'm not really worrying about those details. I'm just kind of getting the walls in place. Got this board down. It's another wall. I got to make another board that goes down across here and then another one over there somewhere using the uh, lasers continuing to work well um, to get everything marked down and in the right spot and uh, I don't know why I did that wall like that after I was over here doing this wall and you know getting the top right and figuring stuff out and then I'm looking over here and I realized that I was dumb because I wanted a double top plate but I, I, I'm not going to have one. And I did that. It's, I'm not going to get into the whole reason why. But basically, I thought something was happening with the sill plate that I thought I didn't account for, but I did. And anyway, that's a mess. But this is definitely going, this is going better. And I, it just feels better than doing the concrete work for me. Because, you know, anything stupid that gets messed up, like, it's, it's just me having a brain fart like that. Like, you know, <laughs> I've caught myself several times. I was putting the studs in the wrong spot. I had to move them over. Um, had to, uh, where is this guy? This nail, fortunately, went down nice. It's nice and flush, so I can put a stud right over it. Same thing with this guy over here. I want all my studs to be exactly under the, uh, the floor joist, so. I know you don't need it to be, but that's how I want it. Um, so now everything will be nice and lined up, and I can come down here and satisfy my obsessive compulsive disorder. <laughs>
Okay, all the walls are up now. Not completed, so the window still needs to be done, but they're up, up enough. And so now I need to get the top plates on. Today is Sunday. Tomorrow's Monday, I got the wood coming for the floor joists, which I am uh, you know, very much looking forward to doing because you see all the wetness on the ground here. It rained a lot the past couple days, and this is like a minor, you know, bit of what's left is you know there's, there's a, that's the low spot in the foundation over there and then you know there's this was all wet and everything but having the tools in here and having a wet workspace isn't great tarps are doing the job but it's it's not great and the water can't run out by itself because of this lip here so it it actually did pull all the way up and it was like you know going down like a little waterfall so a roof on this you know the I'm getting the Advantic um, three-quarter inch uh, plywood for the floor so uh, that's you know good for like six months in the rain so I, I I won't need to worry about any sort of warping issues or anything like that because I'm gonna have the roof on this thing and <laughs> in no time you know compared to most of the rest of the project so yeah looking forward to getting that done that's that's next week I was working on getting the uh, footing drains all set up with the you know the burrito wrapped rock and all that um, we want to get this section covered up because we keep dropping stuff in it and she just cleaned it out to make it all nice so yeah but uh i was moving some boards over here to help with that i accidentally dropped my phone and ran over it with the tractor <laughs> and I, I wish i could show it to you but i'm using it to take the video but um it actually like there's nothing on it that's it's fine like it's just filthy um pretty sure at least but uh yeah uh Pixel 3A with a uh, Otter Defender case, tractor proof. <laughs> Got all my top plates done, nice and level. And now I'm all ready to uh, get the floor joists on. That'll be tomorrow. I might get a little bit more done with some of the, like the window framing and the doors that aren't framed out and stuff like that. But otherwise, ready to put the floor on.